And what's the shit you like for like Kogel Mogul? Kogli Mogli? Oh, Kogel Yeah. Dude, I bet E.G. Pierogi makes a mean glass of Kogel Mogul. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we will get all of this when we go to Taste of Polonia this year. Oh my god! Taste of Polonia. Yeah, it's where it, uh, the Carpenticus Center. Yeah, yeah. And this year, I'm so fucking glad that instead of that dumb Beatles cover band, there there's Think Floyd playing. Nice. So that should be good. I saw the, it was the Beatles cover band, and then Beggars Banquet, which is a Rolling Stones cover band, and they were really fucking good. Huh. Nice. Rolling Stones were always the in that time period. I was always more Rolling Stones than the Beatles. Same here. I was always more the Who. I could see, you know they were uh, both remaining rem- members, but um, I saw them when they came through for their fiftieth anniversary. Was that at United Center? Yeah, it nice. was a great show. You know, I really like. Besides the fact that they li- that they t- put a video on for Keith Moon to play drums in one of the things, which I oh, did, did not really? really have, uh, I did not really like. But they didn't have a hologram of Tupac playing. No, drums. they didn't. Although, uh, yeah, they they had a hologram of a bunch of ketamine the in in place of Keith Moon because sure. that's basically <laughs> all he was was a ketamine <laughs> holder. But uh, no, uh, may he rest in peace. Yeah, may he rest in peace. A crazy motherfucker. But uh. No, they were really good. They were very good, and it was really disappointing because, of their, like, they didn't sell it out somehow. Like, there weren't a ton of people there, and it was really disappointing because the show was one. Well, it was a great show. It was really, really good. Was there an opener? Uh, no. It was nice. just, um, or at least if there, I don't remember there being one. Were there sixty dollars T-shirts? I'm sure there were. <laughs> How much um, did you pay for a lime marita? <laughs> I went with my father, so I didn't pay for any booze. He nice. paid for all of it. Thank you, because Daddy. Because he apparently is a rich man. Huh. Now. Good for him. Well, good. I'm happy things worked out for him. Yeah, me too. All's weld that ends weld. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Quick update for poser. Oliver. <laughs> Such a poser. Uh, so, for everyone out there listening, I won the wager. I know the odds were in my favor, but <laughs> Sandry has uh, relieved himself of the abomination brown's chicken <coughs> calls food and how how are we feeling feeling good feeling better that felt alive coming <laughs> out of me <laughs> <laughs> like that kiss album pretty close kiss alive yes it's probably so the same cool. value right like frampton comes alive no, um, uh, the same value of the shit that came out of his butthole oh all right first grateful dead now fish. Now kiss. Now kiss. Yep. Who's next? I don't know. Maybe we're just a poser. Can we go back to the Grateful Dead again? All <laughs> right. <laughs> we do the Grateful okay. Dead again? All right. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, we all love Slayer. So let's let's just... Okay. okay. You know? <laughs> you know yeah, that was the funniest thing when um, when it blew my mind that all these years I just kept... Busting Ross's balls, and just every time I saw him, I'm like, come on, Ross, slay all, slay. I, like a- any time I'd motivate him, I would just yell that. And after all these years, he goes, "I don't even like slay all," and I never even like the thought never kind of he 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 never even was nuts about Slayer. What? I just kind of like narrowed him down into sure. that stereotype of a Slayer fan. <laughs> 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 you know, it's like I don't even like Slayer. <laughs> You you cap you oh my god I can't even fucking talk this thing is attacking me, right? Fuck. It's mind blowing, Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> so Ross is kind of a poser then. Uh, yeah, right. Not liking Slayer, right? Sounds like it. I think we're posers because I was saying before how nuts like Slayer shows back in the day. How, how nuts are old Slayer? Last time I saw Slayer, how nuts it was. And we were at least going to fucking throw up and shit ourselves in the pit this time, and we mm. didn't. We should have had some Brown's chicken and pasta. <laughs> you would have shit in the pit, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Slayer! Oh, yeah. yeah. Shit pits. I hear they're playing Ride Fest this year. Shit pits? Yeah. Oh, they're great. I can't wait. It's going to be good. Yep. All what? right. Well, new topic. Yeah. New p- um, Since I quit smoking... 
uh, I decided that I was going to try not to smoke as much weed um, as well. So I decided I was just going to start eating it. And spent all of last weekend making a great many different types of uh, of edible uh, cannabis products, like uh, honey and olive oil and tea and butter. And uh, that's what I've been doing with my life the past uh, week or so. Thought I'd share. Then so you're still high right now? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I'm not right now. It probably would have helped with the whole no, dude, <laughs> prom chicken t- thing. I don't know how you guys feel, but you you know when you have too much fucking we when you're when you're tripping high when it's yeah when yeah it's going wrong. I, I cut and the I cut the batches into half batches because I wanted to avoid that. You you know when you reach that peak of your tripping bed, have you ever had that happen? Right when you got to shit your brains out. Oh my god, no! That, that sounds horrible. Yeah, no, that's really bad. My my brother came over. With his girlfriend, we were gonna have like one of our high nights where my my brother and I we would we'd get like a huge group and watch a really fucking dumb movie together <laughs> and get high and l- make fun of it. Right before I'm like, all right, hold on, I gotta go shit, and I took like two hash pen hits and then a third one and then a fourth one and then I'm like, okay, you know, let's try and cut down the time so it'll kick in while I'm shitting, right? That'll cut down time. <laughs> Yeah, and efficiency. Oh my god. You know, you know because everything gets so m- much more vivid, you know, when, <laughs> once that yeah. peak comes and I'm just hearing everyone laugh outside. I'm like, "Oh, they're laughing at the shit sounds." <laughs> oh, yep, here comes another one and now I'm laughing. Oh, it's dangling. I can feel it. I can No, <laughs> oh, no. Oh no, god. that means I'm supposed to wipe. Like I, I I couldn't fucking leave the bathroom and they're like, "Dude, we've been here for a fucking like hour." <laughs> you know, like <laughs> almost <No>. done. <laughs> yes. uh, hang on. Uh, yeah. um, almost done. And then and and you know and then the paranoia kicks in and you're like par- and that's the worst paranoia because you're like did I wipe right? Is it on my hands, you know? <laughs> 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 yeah, that definitely uh, when when I first made the butter. I made the butter when I was sick because I wanted to get high, but my throat hurt. So I didn't want to smoke. Ooh. Some substance isn't abuse is issues. <laughs> is, is, isn't the vaping easier on you? Like I, like I'm oil? sure it is. I don't have I don't have a vape though. Oh, okay. Um. So, but I made the I made the butter, and you know when you look up recipes for the stuff, I've done it before, but I couldn't remember. So when you look up recipes for the stuff, it comes on websites, you know, for people who want you to get really high. So mm-hmm. the ratio was something absurd, like. Seven grams to a single stick of butter. Okay, that's a that's a lot, and I did half of that and I lost my fucking mind. Yeah, and so the other shit that I made was like like way weaker than the sure. other because I was that was just I th- it was I horrible. Think you learned your lesson. I learned my lesson. I think I did a similar mistake because I I made an eighth to a stick of butter. Yeah, that's about that's Is about that what sorry? I did. Yeah. Oh yeah, because. Yeah, when I when I was talking about I mentioned it before when I made those brownies that lasted three days and I wanted my brother to stab me in the neck because yeah. I was gonna be retarded yeah. for life. That yeah. that is exactly that's basically how it went with me. Did it last three days? Nights. No, it didn't. La- it lasted. It was like ten hours, but okay. It was it. But it was just too fucking intense because what what had happened was, um, my my best friend, and huh? Was it me? Not you. Oh, uh, your Eric, other best friend. Best friends Eric and Kate came over, and that's nothing against you, Bill. You, Whatever. You're just a lower ranking member. Sure. Yeah. You, somewhere you must around. I got the invitation. Somewhere yeah. around twenty, fault. twenty. You know, somewhere between twenty and thirty. You know, you I'm got it. You're on the list, of the though. Grateful Dead fans. There. I don't want to be your best friend. Me, me, and John, though. Oh, good. Save me the trouble. Save me the trouble. It's fine. Right. Um, Where you can it? fucking walk home. Um, <laughs> whatever I'll catch a ride to EJ's <laughs> <laughs> I'll stay home and drink more Malta Goyas <laughs> but no fuck what was I even st- uh, Eric and Kate came by <laughs> uh, Eric and Kate came by and uh, and I put a little bit of the, I would, like chipped off a little bit of the butter and put it in coffee and the last time I had done that like it had gotten me a little bit a little bit high but I was like I want to you know I think I could ha- do a little bit more have a little bit more fun and so I did twice the amount and it got me 
10 times the amount of high <laughs> that I was mm. prior. I don't know what it was about it, but I'm sitting there just like panicking this whole time and watching this this like really bizarrely edited anime that that was the most like anxiety inducing like piece of art visual art i've ever seen in my life or pokemon kept... indigo league no i can't even uh <laughs> was it makiro city actors oh sure which <laughs> sorry <laughs> which uh <laughs> but there's like there's a scene in one of them this is the this is what i remember most vividly about about that night is there's a scene in one of them where one of the kids is like that like can see the future or some shit and he keeps watching this girl that he's in love with get hit by a van and it keeps flashing back and then it'll just stop and focus in on uh telephone wires and like telephone like electrical buzzing will continue to intensify and intensify and then it'll repeat the whole like like the exact the same thing that happens the same sequence of him watching her get hit by a car and I'm sitting here just out of my fucking mind watching this happen, like trying to separate it from my own reality. Like, like it's something, where's this buzzing come from? <laughs> Am I going to get hit by a car? I don't like it's it. It's a was, wingless bee. I, it, was, right. it was wingless bee. That's terrifying. Oh, it was awful. It was, it was fucking horrible. And Bill was standing over you with a bee on a pen. Where's this bummy? Did Eric and Kate have fun? I think so. Kate Why is ate, Andrew crying? Kate, Kate ate a bunch of the butter and said she didn't feel anything. And I think she's a liar <laughs> because there is no way. See, well, no, well, no. Would, it, would you tweak because you mixed it with coffee? Because it could have been that because I'd had six cups of coffee that day. Yeah, because that. But would've... I've always mixed it with I, like uh, whenever I whenever I'd eat that I gen- I don't really bake. Yeah. So I j- I just put it in coffee. Can you make it with coconut oil? You know. Yeah, yeah. Instead of like butter. Yeah. Because coconut oil is great with coffee. You or, know, or like any. You're. It's funny that you would, that you would say that. Uh, almost everybody I've talked to about this, coconut oil has been the one they've been like, "Hey, you should make coconut oil." <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, "All right, I guess that's a popular thing." I don't ever use coconut oil, so I didn't make I need it. it way, c- but I need it for shitting problems. For <laughs> shitting problems. Well, oh, apparently which, I could, which use, doesn't I could use it. it. <laughs> which get some browns. This gets you a topic of the day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a shit up. Oh, yeah. fuck, man. We always we talk about shit. We're <laughs> 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 always talking shit, guys. <laughs> so, when you're making weed butter, I know nothing about it. I'm just imagining, like, you take a stick of butter and you, like, grind up some weed and, like, just combine it. Is there, like, cooking involved? What? There's a whole process, and it's different for different, like, uh, foodstuffs. So, so all of, with uh Did you f- use nugs or leaves? I used nugs. I couldn't find trimmings. I actually okay. used I used like uh like dro. Like I so this uh it's, I used good stuff. Was it mm. dank? Um it was dank. But the first thing you have to do is you you break it up. You don't want to grind it right away. You want to just like break it up into smaller pieces, hand break it. And then you have to bake it to activate everything. It's called decarbing. And you have to bake it and make sure it doesn't get above uh, 310. Because if it gets above 310, then it vaporizes all the cannabinoids and you just voided all of the weed. Mm. Um, but you do that for 45 minutes to an hour. And then you pull that. And with the butter, the butter, you just throw the weed in with melted butter and water and you simmer it for like three hours. Okay. Yeah. And then you sift it out. And then that's your butter. But the honey and the oil is a different process. The honey and the oil, you have to, like, teabag them. So I take coffee filters and tie off coffee filters with how whatever amount you need. You put it in with the honey or the oil. And then with honey, it's eight hours on low in a crock pot that you have to soak it. And then with oil, it's six hours on low in a crock pot. And you have to continually check it because you have to keep the jars sealed, but you also have to make sure you're not making a pipe bomb because of uh, the pressure. Sure. So you have to continually go and open it, you know, open them a little bit and shut them, which is a bitch because obviously the water in there is hot as fuck. So you have to like get, I was using tongs and of course I'm high for the whole thing. So sure. it makes it a little bit more difficult. And then the tea was just uh, after the honey was done, I just pulled the bags out that I'd used in the honey of, of the depleted weed. And threw it in a pot with a couple bags of black tea and boiled it. And actually, the tea is my favorite. Um, 
because it was done with the depleted stuff, it has less of the psychoactive ingredients. So it's just a, it's generally just a good stress reliever, and it causes like a fair amount of euphoria. But it's not like it doesn't really get you really high. Okay. Well, the reason I ask is because like going back to the butter, like you said, you took a little bit and it didn't fuck you up that much, and you kind of doubled the dosage, and it just like. Got you like ten times like higher. Yeah. So my uh, question is like maybe there's an issue with like consistency like throughout. Like, oh, I'm sure there is. Okay. <laughs> so, like, there's a, there's um with the butter in particular. I don't know exactly how that works when it when it uh it's like when you sift it and all that shit. Mm. I don't know how uniform it is because it does solidify with like oil and with honey. Like as soon as you really mix that stuff, like it's gonna be consistent pretty much because it's a uh, it. Especially using, I used uh, pure unpasteurized honey, so it is. It's not what you buy at the store. It's thinner, okay. so it it stirs, it mixes a lot better. And then when you heat it, it fully liquefies it. So the honey that you have heated in the in the crock pot is essentially it is just it has the same properties as any other liquid. It's thin. It you know you can mix it much easier. Things like that, things like that. Oil obviously stays at a liquid state no matter what. So the butter is the one thing that would be inconsistent. Um, and I did notice that, but I'm not sure if that was just whether that's actually true or not or whether I just took too much of it or if it was a mix of all sorts of other stuff. Also, the way that it attaches, this is attaches itself to lipid acids in butter, which yeah. is why it becomes. There's no it's, way to. It's I more mean, intense. Unless you make it in a factory, like, there's no way to, like. Yeah, it's not I a regulated it, industry, right. as, it, as it were. No yeah, it's equalize the consistency, I don't think. But, like, no, when, there's, when, there's when, really I made, not. when I made the brownies at my uncle's, I just did oil, and I did grind it up. I didn't put. You know, you said you have to put the nugs in the oven for a bit. Yeah. I just slow cooked the oil. The nu- I ground up the nugs, put them in oil, and slow cooked them on a, in a pan- frying pan, like, you can, for really long. You can do, like, um, you can do that as long as you don't bring it above that 310 yeah, yeah. threshold. I had, I had, like, a cooking, like, those turkey thermometers, and then uh, I think... That's the thing, like, the way you mix the, like, well, I was making brown, you know, the brownies. Yeah. You got to fucking mix that perfectly. You got to make sure it settles perfectly in the pan for it to be, because I had the same situation where I ate a full brownie, nothing's happening. And then the next one is just fucking. Yeah. yeah. Three days long. I want to kill myself, you know. Yeah. You have to, yeah, you have to be careful with that. The one thing that I think is interesting, and I want to know more about how or why this is, once you already infused all this stuff. Um, you can heat it past that temperature and it still works. Hmm. And I don't know why that... It has to do with the chemical bonding, but I don't know why that is. And, like, I'm curious about that. And that we definitely, like, years and years and years ago when I was, uh, you know, a, a child, we made pizza <laughs> with it and we didn't know how to do any of this at the time and we just, we just like, took, like, six grams and fucking broke it up on top of a pizza and mm. threw it in the oven and it got us real stoned, and I, I realize now it's probably because we were so high we put it on the wrong temperature. <laughs> <laughs> Slow cook the pizza. Yeah. Well, I, I'm not a scientist, but I have been known to play with dead bumblebees. So <laughs> I'll tell you, you. You know what makes makes me think is like how much. You know how they talk about how quickly the rate of technology has advanced in the past like ten years mm-hmm. with yeah. everything. And it makes you think how we went, you know, all the old school stoners, Cheech and Chong era, they're like, oh, man, we used to just have fucking joints. And now there's people, then it goes to like bowls and bongs. Now it's like people have fucking cookbooks, you know? I wonder if when we're really fucking old, if people are going to be like shooting up some hash oil or I putting it not. through their butthole. Oh, you get more fucked up this way. <laughs> the butthole thing, I'm sure that's already happened yeah, somewhere. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't... You didn't. What it is happening? I you think kn- so. Yeah. Can you tell us more about it, John? We'll call it butt bowling. Well, <laughs> last week. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why you stayed longer at Slayer. <laughs> oh, Pozo. <God. laughs> but no, I I think the whole cooking thing is a great idea. Gets rid of the boredom. 
<laughs> Honestly, like, it, it, fear this is a weird thing, no way to put it, but it makes me feel less like a piece of shit because I'm actually doing something. Sure. <laughs> I may be, I may be, you know, making weed things, but at least it makes me feel like I'm doing something. Yeah. As opposed to just sitting there smoking a joint and watching TV, watching terrifying anime. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. That was a mistake. We need, we need to be healthier and maybe use coconut oil for when we cook meth. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, I got a great recipe for uh, because for coconut feel, oil. Makes you feel pro- productive when you're cooking something. You know, mm-hmm. yep. <laughs> make some meth. I don't know, dentine mints. Right, you're making and money, gum. helping the community, <laughs> right? supplying consumers with needs. You know, like, and you're and you're got such a responsibility with that pipe bomb method. Mm-hmm. You know, because that's mm-hmm. really a pipe bomb. Well, that's a regular bomb. <laughs> 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 But so. if it's stamped by the ATF, it's okay. I got yeah, which fucking is this? Isn't that <laughs> <laughs> fucking crazy shit? Yeah, I don't. If it's stamped with, with the ATF, you're gonna call him up and be like, "Hey, I got a bomb. I need you to certify." You, you know how I could tell this guy was a psycho because because he said he has a bomb <laughs> that's certified by the ATF. <laughs> no, no, the two things I tell. It's funny you mention that when you're fucking around with frog guts when you're doing the surgery. Mm. Or, Dissection. He, he yeah. was going to school originally to be a, a surgeon, and he really loves that field. And he kept he keeps trying to take me hunting to, you know, skin some coyotes with him. Which I'm I kind of want to know that I'm kind of interested in how, that process. But whatever. The process what, is a, not an enjoyable one. <laughs> yeah, I I mean I don't know I I'm I'm kind of like well, I at least it life. shouldn't you shouldn't enjoy that process. I know the coyote <laughs> never does. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll I'll name the pelt after him. You know, <laughs> this was Judy. They used to eat little fucking pierogi uh, and lamb. I don't Road know. runner wins again. <laughs> 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 no, but I mean, uh, when he the he was telling me how I was talking, telling John how. Uh, I was playing, I j- like, right when he walked in, I just beat Far Cry 4. Nice. Because I beat Far Cry 3, like, a week ago. And I just, you know, I don't move up to the new systems because I don't have money. And so I was talking to this fucking psycho at work, and he's like, um, I don't play video games. And suddenly, dude, Far Cry 5 is amazing. And the thing that he liked the most was the skinning part of the animals. And the second part was, I really love how they're actually accurate about the caliber of the bullets for the guns, that, and that it's the actual code for the guns in real life. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. that's I, I didn't notice that because I just kind of like, I, I, I tell by which gun it is by the silhouette, you know. So. You know, some people, some people love their guns. I think that's a record if you beat two Far Cry games in a week. Right. Well, I mean, like I was saying, dude, I had food poisoning. I was so, dude, I was, I had eight hours of Frasier. I'm so mad. I wanted to <laughs> span that out into the rest of the summer and fucking enjoy toss salads and scrambled eggs all over my face, you know? Dude, can I, can I get like a, a pro, like a, a picture of this dude just so yeah. I can, uh, like, I can avoid him on the street when I see <laughs> him? <laughs> like, I'm just you know thinking what about sucks? it. Like, I, I can't wait for that news story to break and be like, hey, I know that guy. It's yeah. always the one you never suspect, right? Like, no, it's not. <laughs> he used to talk about pipe bombs and skinning animals. <laughs> never right. thought he'd go crazy. Yeah. Did you say you beat Far Cry Four? Yeah. I wish they should have called it Four Cry. Four Cry. Yeah. All right. They should have called. You know it what? One more, one more bad joke like that, and you're gonna have to start eating this bowl. <laughs> 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 I kind of want to bite. I'm kind of. Oh tempted. God! Do you really? No. No, no I you don't. don't. I don't even I'll like give it to the cats. <laughs> <laughs> no, my God. I would not do that. <laughs> no. We have listeners associated with PETA. They are going to be on you. Well, well, it's a, it's, it's an experiment I'm running for the cage that I'm building. You know. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. You'll get them stuffed early. Right? <laughs> and imagine, ima- imagine I'm going to get it by a really good stuffer so you can see the macaroni, you know, indents in the belly on, on the text uh-uh. or, or work, you know. Oh, oh, and there's Ugh. oh, and there's that weird Valentina sauce seeping through his butthole, you know. <laughs> Again, that was me in the bathroom. <laughs> that's that's what I was describing. 
<laughs> we got a peephole <laughs> here, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, you should make Gavin eat it. Put it in like make a different f- pot. Say Kelly spent all day making her spa- or like her special favorite, yeah, famous buffalo mac and cheese. Make Gavin eat it. He's going to get violently ill, yeah, and like crying. years later, he's going to watch this and be like, you piece of shit. Dude, kids these days watch so much fucking YouTube that you'll have like a logic discussion about anything. So, well, this said it, this on YouTube, this said this on Like, I had to, con- it took me like a month to convince him that McDonald's is complete shit. And then I'm like, all right, f- you're not fucking going out and playing with your friends today. We're watching Super Size Me, you know? And it finally, all right, I'm never eating that again. Finally convinced, you know. But uh, like so And, you know, I miss the old days when kids would just be like. Oh, my you, dad's a lawyer. No, what, what, no, when they would go up to you and be like, are, are you crazy? Instead of, do you have catatonic schizophrenia with post-traumatic, you know, ex- from ex- post-traumatic experiences, maybe turning into some early on dementia? Because I have some remedies I've seen on YouTube. I don't know. I think that's cool. Like knowledge, knowledge. I you mean, know, people are learning. Yeah, but it has exposure. to. But where's the where's the be, source knowledge? Material? So you want to be that's diagnosed by like a five year old that watches too much YouTube? Hey, if no, if, <laughs> if he's a prodigy, you know. maybe he's spot on accurate. Maybe I do have catatonic schizophrenia. Seeing as I'm moving about a bit, I think I'm free of you're that. Breaking but the, you're a catatonic schizophrenic rebel. <laughs> yeah, that's there, right. there we go. Uh, that's a you're new a classification. Proposal. Although they're actually getting rid of or trying to get rid of uh, schizophrenia as a disorder title. They mm-hmm. want to change it to a schizoid scale. It's about time. Psychosis scale. Well, mm-hmm. I mean, it is known as like the life sentence in uh, in psychological circles. It's like it because it, there's such a stigma attached to it. It's one of those things where like once you're diagnosed, you know, once once you're diagnosed, once you have that label of schizophrenic, even normal things that you will do will be seen as deviant because people automatically assume your behavior is influenced by the disorder. You must have watched a really long YouTube video about this. You I seem to know your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I, this is what, I, that was actually my major when we went to school. YouTube? <laughs> YouTube, yeah. <laughs> Mine too. Uh, well, actually, my, my real major w- <laughs> okay, no, By the way, <laughs> my real major was in <laughs> <laughs> What was that? Brown's chicken and pasta. <sighs> I, I had to add that in. We got to get our sponsors. <sighs> yeah, right. One lucky winner will receive a we're lifetime gonna supply. We're going to get sued if it, if we're going to get sued by anyone. <laughs> it's going to be fucking Brown's chicken. I hope chicken they pasta. go to down to you know, shit. Actually, so you know what? S- no, I will counter sue them because what this did to me should be illegal. <laughs> right? <laughs> Th- that caused the catatonic schizophrenia. Yeah. Let's sue for damages. <laughs> <laughs> now the healing can begin. And once you're labeled that you ate that shit right there, Everything you do deviant is going to be like, yeah, you fucking ate Brown's chicken and pasta. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, like, you know, th- I'm sorry, there's I'm just a like lot picturing of picturing a doctor. Like, like, my arm hurts, doctor. Yeah, you fucking ate Brown's chicken and pasta. Like, right. you're fucking fault. Get out of my you office. Know, uh, right after this, I'm Googling the distance between all these schools shootings and Brown's chicken and pasta. Okay. I, I bet you there's a YouTube video about that. <laughs> 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 yeah. What if, what if you plot all the points and it makes the Browns chicken label <laughs> right? like their logo? Like, what, what the fuck is that even? I have no like, idea. A, like a, a guy with yellow extended arms? I, I, Perhaps I, a pentagram? It looks yeah. kind of like a very pentagrammy. Yeah. Oh, the logo you mean? Yeah. Which um, makes sense because that was some evil it, on my stomach. It's like an asterisk, yellow asterisk, I think. Almost, yeah. no? Something like that. It's something weird. It's like a number one with wings, kind of? Sort of? Hold is on. it wings? Let me pop um, it up. It's not just a chicken. Is it supposed to be the chicken skeleton? Maybe. In a cartoony way? It's a parasite that lives within the mac and cheese. Oh, I see. So, so they must have really gotten, moved their businesses to like the, you know, North Korea. Yeah. Where they feed the prisoners. Yep. But it's good bacteria. Brown sticky and pasta. <laughs> <laughs> Today's brown chicken and pasta night. Everybody. Uh, <laughs> 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 no, last night was brown chicken and pasta night. You're going to fucking eat yep. it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Peace anymore. treaty with South Korea. No more brown chicken. We're out of toilet paper. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so growing up, like that Morgan Spurlock movie, The Super Size Me, 
was like a go to for every fucking like science and health class I've ever taken. Yeah. Whenever that movie came out. Um and I remember everyone being grossed out by it. But it always made me like a little hungry. I don't know. Just like shh. All right, uh, for everyone at home, we're looking at the Browns Chicken and Pasta logo. <laughs> you uh, know what it kind of looks like to me? Like, I'm looking at it now. Uh, think uh, the, like, little slash or eyes, and that's Hulk Hogan's mustache. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you see it a little bit? I, I thought it has, yeah. like, I thought it has, like, you know when cowboys have those fucking, like, U legs with the, with the. Oh, yeah, with the chaps. Yeah, the it. chaps. Yeah. That's, I thought it was those, like, chap legs. Maybe. And then, <laughs> because he I, fucking it, ate too much brown chicken and pasta, so he's got to yeah, spread his a, legs. Yeah, yeah I, I guess that would explain the, the cowboy limp after <laughs> yeah. eating brown chicken. Because I'm a cowboy. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck is this? In Brown's Chicken and Pasta's defense, they had pineapple fanta, and it was very good. They're pineapple fanta. Well, that's not. You can't credit Brown's Chicken for yeah. making it. Yeah, but they sold it. They did sell they it. They had it, it was, available. And it was Crush. Oh, my bad. That's their last resort of keeping it alive. Well, we'll sponsor Pineapple Fan. Yeah. It wasn't one of those like fancy vending machines with a touch screen and everything. No. no. He got a can That's of only it. at the theaters. <laughs> I did think, you right? see what I, I got in here? Response. Do you think they have that, that sort of Wendy's. technology? I've never seen a pineapple <laughs> font except in those like fancy ass vending machines or those. Uh, Although you know, Bill, yeah. we really should have taken that like incessant beeping that was going on. There was an alarm that went <laughs> while he was back th- yeah. while he was back there cooking. There was an alarm that went off for a solid minute, like full minute, while he was standing there next to whatever machine was making that alarm. The toilet's overflowing again. <laughs> yeah. That that really should have should have spooked us out of there. Right. Oh, someone ordered the buffalo mac and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine what would have happened to me if I would have eaten all of this. I, I barely think, ate I any think of you it. should make a documentary on living off of Brown's chicken and pasta for here uh, for just a the week. Buffalo <laughs> mac and cheese. You'd I would shoot so for a uh, weight. No, I, by I the would way, die I got, almost immediately. Hey, I, I got that funeral discount, man. <laughs> right. Go 25% off the brown special, <laughs> and we're gonna have that Hulk Hogan mustache engraved right on your tombstone. Oh my god, let's get Brown's chicken and pasta tattoos! All right, <sighs> who's down? Nope, it All is right. apparently a Chicago thing, though. Is it that's cool? Ooh, there's a Reddit page for Brown's chicken. What is the all right? There's a Reddit thread for uh, what is the Brown's chicken symbol? <laughs> all right, <laughs> all right. Quick context, I've just spent the past hour trying to find out a history explanation on the symbol for the Illinois-based brown chicken franchise. The internet is completely void of anything relevant. My sister says she saw it as a cactus growing up. We're Korean-Americans, and I always saw a Korean or Chinese character. What Does anyone know what the symbol <laughs> means? <laughs> a stylized chicken? Question mark. I can't tell if I should be embarrassed or confused. You totally got it right. You know, if it, it was looks like a chicken saying, come at me, bro. Eat me, IRL. It's a chicken. If it was black and white, it could be like a, a black metal symbol. Seven chalk outlines. Seven chalk. That is something to look into because that's something a serial killer posts on the thread. Uh, I hear they're playing Riot Fest this year. Seven chalk outlines. Oh, and and the VIP area gets brown chicken and pasta for free. <laughs> That's right, dude. And then they get the pit shits. Right. Free haircuts and brown chicken and pasta. Oh, I don't want VIP the, the, anymore. The, the barber chair has a fucking open toilet for you. you know? Oh, God. I don't think I had a shit at Riot Fest this year, and I consider that a blessing. I think I shit once after that Kuma's, mm. that Dark Throne burger. Horseradish burger. How many days? What was it? Just three one days. Day. Three, three days and no shit? Holy crap. That's not... Ah. <laughs> no, we saved, the sh- we, <laughs> saved, we saved the shit for at home. Right. It was a riot. It's too much of a riot at the show, man. Oh, yeah. We're out of Buffalo Mac and Cheese. They're rioting. Yep. Ooh, that was uh, that was one thing. Uh, the not shitting for a couple days was something that was a, a side effect of quitting smoking that I did not anticipate. Really? Apparently, that's the thing. Fucks with your bowels pretty hard. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I, I mean, no, smoking helps shitting, I think, because, uh, th- I mean, that's why I have coffee once in a while. 
Right? Yeah, it's a, it's a what, diuretic. Is that the right word? I feel like diuretics are like caffeine and... Yeah, I think nicotine I mean, is as well. Is it? Yeah. Okay. I I could be wrong. I know that it it's both, it does something to your digestive yeah. system, and I definitely can tell you from experience that, that it does something to your digestive system. Okay. Did you watch that on a YouTube video? I d- I did not know. <laughs> I consulted a real doctor. <laughs> so five year old who watches Phil. YouTube, WebMD, <laughs> yeah, WebMD, the Mayo Clinic. That's right. Which mean? always ends up with me having cancer. Right, always. They're like the sniffles, sore throat. Oh, everything you is have. a symptom of cancer. <laughs> everything. Everything is a symptom of cancer. Except optimism. And I listen to that. <laughs> no, that's a symptom of terminal cancer. Mm. <laughs> They're playing right fast. Everything is a symptom of cancer. Oh, I thought you were going to say terminal cancer. <laughs> that, that sounds like a riot fest band name. Terminal cancer. Yep. Well, lineup is being announced Wednesday, so I'm pretty pumped. Nice. Sandra, you going this year? Probably not. Not to Riot Fest. Right. I don't like the big festivals. I'm not too much into festivals either. I but for Riot Fest, I gotta say, is pretty fun. I fucking hate like outdoor shit, but Riot Fest is pretty fun. What like is Douglas it? Park, there's a carnival there. So if there's like a shitty band playing or just a shitty line of bands playing that you know, and you're waiting for the last one, you just Go and get fucked up and go on the tilt a whirl, you know, while while you have a whole bottle of vodka in you and Kuma's corner bur- burgers. That yeah, sounds horrible. Oh man, nah, it's fun. It's so much fun. You got a fucking free haircut. Free haircut. Mm-hmm. Uh, what get was it? Free mineral water. Yeah. What What was that one thing that there was? So right just water. Ne- Vitamin water. No, it was like mineral, like sparkling mineral water oh. with like it was like lime flavored. Limestone, because that's mineral. Oh, true, yeah. Summer camp gave out free uh, vitamin water. Nice. Yeah. Oh, you could get your hair dyed camp. glitter. You Next could? Year. Yeah. Get you ready for the festival. Get your tarot cards read. Um, yeah. Sandra, you should go. John, you should go. Yeah, Ross I'll is going one day, because he's a poser. Nice. Oh, that'd be so much fun. Oh, I'm trying to go to New Orleans. That's where my money's going this summer. When? <laughs> I'll know as soon as I have the money to consider <laughs> <laughs> actually doing it. So you know, I, I, I had this. <laughs> I think it's September. Nice. I think I had this debate. I was telling you earlier at your place. Like, is it just. It's probably just my fucked up family. Like, I don't get it. Does, so, Bill has families overseas. Do you have families overseas? Uh, s- not or, that we have any, like, real contact with. Okay. Or, or like, far away that you have contact. Like,. Like e- even even like on the other side of the fucking coast, you know. Oh, it's a different world down there. We have family in Florida. Yeah. Oh boy, do I have some stories about that shit. Uh, and, um. <laughs> and like, do do they do they come to visit you? Uh, rare occasions. Yeah, like I don't fucking get it. How like because me and John were saying like we should. I was thinking of planning a uh, going to maybe New York around the end of summer. Mm. But then we were thinking, oh, why not just go to Poland? Because John said like tickets are cheap around September. Like, what did you say, six hundred? Yeah, like six, seven hundred. Wow, that's not bad at all. Fucking yeah. round trip, right? Isn't that so? Poland's not having a great time though, <laughs> right now. Why? What's going on? There's a lot of concern that their president is essentially forming a dictatorship and and taking away constitutional freedoms. The EU is worried that it's headed in the direction of authoritarianism, and there's been a lot of widespread uh, like protesting throughout the country. Oh. I I should probably know that. <laughs> no, but I mean, anyways, po- like I'm like, why the fuck doesn't that family visit us in Chicago? I mean, do you ever question that, or does because they don't have money? They don't make money over there, or much money. They don't. No, I mean, we don't visit them in Florida, so I don't have. I don't ask that question. There, I mean, my cousin makes like three dollars an hour there, so that's the main reasons. The so if we could. Build up enough money to go there once a year because six hundred dollar tickets. Now. I mean, once in every ten years, that poor, those poor bastards should come the fuck over here. <laughs> <laughs> in that authoritarian dictatorship, yeah, well, they 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 to come. it is still fuck them. technically a democracy. <laughs> nah, right now. No, the, I mean the only the only thing I heard that was, uh, and and 
I'm, I don't even keep track of this shit. I just randomly in and out. I, I read shit online is that people were mad that they're very see. Okay. I think this is a European thing that is hard to understand. There's a lot of, and, and I'm not criticizing it. I, I consider myself American. I was born here. There's a lot of pride in this culture, but people don't understand how everybody besides America is nationalist. Like they care about only their country. And I think people were very mad about Poland that, like, they have a very strict immigration policy. That's part. Poland uh, does have a heavy, heavy, like, nationalist, uh, like, element to it. A yeah. lot of a lot of those, uh, like, in that region are like that. A lot of the former, like, Soviet Union satellite countries. Mm-hmm. And, and, their, and their defense was, like, they Poland has been the most bombed to, like, fucking dust country in Europe like over wars of the span of all of history it's been the most bombed where they had to constantly keep rebuilding which is kind of like oh the whole stereotype of that's why they're hard workers because they fuck you got to keep restarting but the point is that their their defense like well yeah guess what we have the highest immigration policy there's there were literally at least five terrorist attacks in every fucking country none in poland which i'm like i don't know that kind of makes sense no I mean, I can understand how that statistic could mean something to somebody, but a lot of it doesn't mean anything over here, at least in Europe. I get not here. Poland's also not that important compared to like you know, like Germany, <laughs> France, <laughs> as far as like the no. EU. <laughs> so you're saying no. the terrorists don't give a shit enough about Poland right. to be yeah, <laughs> exactly. We gotta <laughs> bomb those L pro Germany, Germany and. And England have a lot more, or well, not England anymore, but like France have a lot more. Even though, like, uh, economic clout, they had, yeah, yeah, you don't, you don't go over to Poland to make a point. <laughs> you just don't shake the president's hand when he com- uh, Trump's hand when he comes over to visit, right? Did that happen? Yeah, the, no, they were pissed because like, uh, he came over to like, I don't, know, what, what was it? He just came over to like, uh, visit. I, 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 I don't know what the That's hell it was just to hang out. Know. The yeah. Polish president was just here. Oh, I want some pierogies. Actually, well, 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 no, he came over and and they and he gave some speech and then yeah, because there's like, of, the like o- opening of a Polish center or something here. Oh, sure, the um the restaurant, the auto body clinic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was that? EJ uh, EJ Pierogi yeah, yeah. an auto oh. shop. Yeah. Sure. That, that's, <laughs> he was here christening the, his finest work. And suddenly everything is remodeling to <laughs> compete. You know, <laughs> easily. <laughs> In my top ten of favorite Polish bistros, right. oh, uh, hands, hands down. Yeah. I think I might have gotten mixed up with El Famous Burrito. <laughs> 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 also very good. Yeah. Um, but El Famous Burrito and Auto Shop <laughs> is that? Yeah, that'd be awesome. So what they have strict rules about immigration, so they don't let people in. Is that? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. They didn't let anybody in for the for um. That uh, the Syrian, Syrian war, yeah. War, yeah. You gotta put the mic. The Syria war, they didn't have, they didn't let anybody in. You know, Germany and all the other countries let like thousands of people in. There are quotas that the EU is set that they're supposed to hit Poland. Uh, there's a whole big blowback because Poland wouldn't do it. Wait, what sort of quota? There's a certain amount of refugees that you that countries are committed to take in as per being attached to like EU deals. Okay. And they there's a whole there's a lot of blowback because Poland was like, well, we're not going to do that. And then because of that, a lot of other countries like more nationalist, you know, um, like isolationist, you know, uh, political parties like the started Serbs. pushing really. <laughs> I don't I don't know enough about Serbia to 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 say that that's a, something that was pushed big over there, but I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, just a um, guess. But like, there was a lot of pushback in Europe kind of stemming from that going hey well poland doesn't have to let them in we shouldn't either and meanwhile it's just a, it's just so shitty for everybody involved because n- no one wants to take in these refugees from a war-torn place with a completely different culture and these refugees don't want to be going to other countries but fucking something has to be done hmm. meanwhile yeah. speaking of uh or what were you gonna i was gonna say meanwhile in florida i was gonna segue into sandry's Oh no, we're not gonna. Oh no, <laughs> no. All right. not we're getting not gonna, into that. We're not gonna get into that. All right. You sure? I'm sure. All right. Is All's well. Best. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. 
<laughs> I fucked it up even more. <laughs> oh, it gets funnier every time. <laughs> no, um, I was what so back to uh how how nationalist Europe can be. I I, I out of curiosity because I had a pair of fucking few boring fucking last days at that dispatch company that mm-hmm. I quit. So I'm like, oh, I'm just going to keep watching dumbass fucking videos. So once again, the singer of Mayhem and Burzum, the guy who made the ar- the racist RPG, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. Varg? Yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm trying to be, I, I always play devil's advocate, so I try to be understanding on both sides. And I kind of understand, okay, so his ideology is he's not he's he does not consider himself racist what he considers himself is that he feels that where people are from is where they should stay and basically he had the he 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 releases he releases these videos of sort of like he's like oh you know the slavs they're born in this humid area here and the women here is what they expect from these people here and when you're born in a place for example Africa, you're good at those skills that are needed there. If you put a Slav in Africa, he's going to be useless. If you put an African in Slavic area, he's going to be useless. But that's just like that's provably untrue. Which <laughs> part of evolution like, is so easily provably part untrue. Of, yeah, part of evolution is change and adapting, which is why I'm I'm just saying that I can understand what he's saying, but it's like, dude. You need to fucking mix it up a little bit for everybody to, you know, like yeah, like I I guess I can see the pseudo logic there. But yeah, <laughs> if you'd be a caveman and you'd freak out in a different fucking environment, that would make sense. But we're in fucking 2018. Also, doesn't I, he I, tour the fucking world? He just he, saying, he, no, he no, tours no 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 does his craft that's, around well, the world. Well, that's, well, that's what's funny. He doesn't. You know what he does now? Because he hates the fucking world. <laughs> he lives off grid. With his, then why like, do we like, give a shit about what he's a, saying? A, a, exactly. Well, 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 well. That's the thing is, like, people just keep when, when, when somebody like talks mad shit about, like, this is the fucking enemy of the world. I like to get to know. Well, what is this person really, other than what people are saying about anybody? If it's fucking Trump, if it's about that catch, cash me outside, bitch. <laughs> I'm, doctor, I'm like, I wonder where does this person come from. So I'm watching these Varg videos. He <laughs> lives off grid, and is fucking. He has like a straight up um uh what's that uh, australian fucking hunter's name what's out outback guy he has like crocodile a steve Irwin? yeah he has like a crocodile dundee jeep covered in like pee camouflage that he lives off grid in the fucking mountains in norway with his family li- like chops wood all day hunts animals i think the weirdest Part of that sentence that you just said was with his family. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he has a family. Yeah, yeah. He's got like five, six that he's like teaching all, all this oh, God. maniacal shit to. And he has all these videos and shit. And and okay, and the reason why I started watching them is because they, they made that book that I got into in sixth grade, Lords of Chaos, about that whole church burning era. Yeah. Well, I didn't know this. They came out with a movie in January. And this is the funny uh, completely based on the book. The guy playing him is Macaulay Culkin's brother. <laughs> really? And he's super oh. pissed about it. Because <laughs> he's oh, no, it, it makes me look super egotistical. Yeah. <laughs> like, <really? laughs> so, so a Culkin made you look too badass, you know? Right? And, and anyways, I, I was, I'm was i not even going to get into that because I'm so fucking pissed. I can't find the movie anywhere. I guess they only had it like screenings at like independent art theaters and then it's just... Yeah, I can't imagine that one being a big seller. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it's... I, I'm just curious to see how it turned out. But the funniest thing that I saw out of the videos is that, you know, he has these long ass, he's one of those people, you always got something to say. And he's got these long ass explanations of his ideology. So he was talking about autistic people and how mm-hmm. the reason why autistic people never stare at you is because autistic people are higher above you because they can s- read your entire spirit within one glance. So when they don't look at you, they, they they are a higher being. He has a family, and, 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 and suddenly that makes you think maybe he's fucking autistic. <laughs> maybe um, he's autistic, guys. All right, he's very autistic he's with his art. Oh, he's something. An, he's an artist. He's an artist. That pozo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, that 
I, I just, you know, th- that whole thing made me laugh my ass off because here I am just trying to see what does he think about this Culkin playing him? And then suddenly, okay, you know, you live off grid with your family, hunt and chop fucking wood all day. And you talk about how, you know, you're going to get uh, autistic people are fairies that are going to rip you apart in the night, you know? Yeah, that's some crazy shit. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and, and and those are the type of people that only get 21 years max in prison in Norway. No, different strokes for different folks. Well, yeah. Norway has a... <laughs> their system is more based on rehabilitation. Clearly yeah. that failed this time. He does not sound very rehabilitated. I don't know. They got rid of him. Like, go yeah, yeah, yeah. Mountains. I mean, that's... I, I wish we could do that with everyone. It was like... Just I, I, I love... Y- y- yeah... I was about to say, like he just faded away. I mean, who gives a fuck about? Can we have videos? like an? Can we do? Can we get like an Australia too, with like an exile island, like a penal colony? Yeah, that's what we should do. Austra- because I don't want to keep paying for these guys. Or send them to Varg. <laughs> yeah, Varg send, them to, send them. them to Varg. <laughs> it, no, no, actually, no. That's bad. That's how. <laughs> that's how he builds an army. <laughs> send them to that island where, uh, you know, where the Sting King, where they have all the cobras on that island. Oh yeah. yeah. Island of what what what, what level of pain is a varg bite? <laughs> 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 oh yeah. That hurts. Ah, ah, all right, that's a six. Ah, no, seven. That guy It's is lingering. <laughs> he was uh, the, the. I listened to an interview with him. I think I talked about this a while back when we were talking about it. I listened mm-hmm. to an interview with him. He's fucking interesting ass dude. <laughs> he is an interesting dude. What makes you say that? I mean, listening to the way he talks about it, and like, and like, because there's like a purpose. It's it wasn't a shock tactic, you know. Like it was like a real methodology and purpose to him, mm-hmm. like rating these pains. <laughs> and it's and it was like it's really bizarre, but it like he he's really clearly passionate about it on an intellectual level, which I think is insane for what he's doing. Ugh. Yeah, it's it's weird. <laughs> I got, I I have three tattoos. You know, so that's. Yeah, that's about as far as I yeah. go as with the pain thing. So we're pretty much like stinking. Yeah, I honestly like. I mean, because I'm indecisive, I don't know. I wanted to get like the whole fucking body of like the Killmonger scarification. I think that'd be fucking cool as hell. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-mm. Yeah, where he, it, yeah. You like burning? Uh, I think it's a burn. Yeah. Yeah, you burn deep enough beads, and then you just have all these. They kind of look like warts. You end up looking like the orange Fantastic Four guy. Ugh. <laughs> you want that? I mean, I, I don't know. I think it'd be kind of cool. Sure. If, uh, if, done, if, if, if done properly, yeah. If yeah. done just in random places, it looks like you have a disease. But <laughs> I'm just going to use this cigar here. Sure. All right. Lay down some beads for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, we, we also specialize in Killmonger, you know, at bear welding. What is Killmonger? The From, uh, Black, Black Panther. Panther. Oh, gotcha. He's the the bad guy. I guess the he, bad guy. He was the villain in in the movie, but he's I can't remember. He's I don't remember his sequence in the comics. I didn't never read any of the comics. Oh but. well. You know, uh, th- the other day I was thinking about this, about how, you know how before we mentioned how it was funny that, so, all right, you know what I. Part of what complaint we got, somebody we know mm-hmm. has a felony and they're a teacher, but they can only be a substitute teacher, right? Sure. Because apparently, you know, teachers don't, we, we only have, we, we, you know, we'll have felons teach you on the days off, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Well, yeah. How does that make any fucking sense? <laughs> right. But, but, but. Right, then that makes it worse because they have anonymity. No, no one knows who they are. They're right? just a sub. And they're here and then they're gone, but along well, with six children. <laughs> but but what made me think of like loophole, dumbass, fucking laws like that is how when they have all those. I mean, I don't know if it's only Illinois how the point oh eight drunk driving law. It's like, oh, you know, you're you're just buzzed. Go ahead, keep going. You know, right. I wonder. I wonder. Yeah, that has to be an interesting conversation with a police officer when you blow, blow a point oh seven nine. Yeah, and he has to go. Have a good night, <laughs> sir. What if the what if the cops real like, No, this thing is broken. <laughs> Damn it. All right, redo it. Point seven nine eight. All right. Third time's charm. Yeah. But you'd be uh, you'd be losing it. 
And right. as it goes, because your body would be continually metabolizing. Yeah. I wonder if that's like a a tactic they use that if you're like a if you're like a point seven nine, they'll just like stall for a while. <laughs> it rounds up. Ooh. It probably you're right. It probably Ooh, does round up. Five. Yeah. It's pretty much a point one. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's awful close. Yep. What, what what if what if that's what happens when like they start legalizing drugs? Oh like, yeah, I just shot up once. You know. Well, like there's keep, a, keep supposedly control. they worked on a on a like a pot road test. Really? Yeah. Um, it has to do. I think it. I think it's like a blood test, though. Listen to this fish song and tell us what you think. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, no Whoa. listening to fish while you're driving in your high. <laughs> no way. Man, those vibes. You're gonna get those fucking air guitaring and start. Wow, dancing I would naked in always the sand. pass that test. Deadly vibes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do you think fun. of this fish? Turn it off. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> oh, you're not right. high, I guess. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going down the wrong path again. <laughs> 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 All right, now I'm pissed off. <laughs> I think you really are pissed off, you poser. I am not a poser. <laughs> God. I'm just happy we, we all also I also saw before Slayer I saw Power Trip with Ross. Okay. Which was fucking great. I'm well I I didn't it wasn't to the best of my ability because I had just gotten this job. I work from 5 a.m. to 4 p.m. So cuz cuz we have Fridays off. Mm-hmm. And dude, you fucking go to like this was I said Watain was the most nuttiest show because of the blood and like animal fucking bones. <laughs> sure, <laughs> sure, but yeah. but po- Power Trip is the most violent show. Like, because, <laughs> okay, because this <laughs> this shit is it. It was because because Watain, yeah. There's there's a lot of fear involved, <laughs> <laughs> and Power Trip. There's a lot of pain involved because there's every other person is jumping off the fucking stage doing backflips off the and it's a sold out show so it's kind of hard to run out of there when you get kicked in the face you know and of course it's a it's a better view in the back of course you know i'm not going to be in the mosh pit <laughs> i'm not a poser <laughs> so uh, but it yeah it was a great show um and i don't the only like i think i told bill the only complaints i had so the first two bands were like really want to be fucking okay just like every type of music, there's a certain formula that you have to go to sound good, and Power Trip did it well, and these other bands are just like, yeah, all right, so all we have to do is really heavy beats and then just motivational talk like something a fucking football coach would say to be a hardcore band, you know? And that's what those two first bands were. And then... Mm-hmm. Wait, like, I, what? what were they saying? Like, what were the songs? Well, you know, straight edge, don't drink, don't smoke, it's joke type shit, like... Like just uh, just shit like that, you, you that know. Sounds awful. Yeah, and um, I mean. Also, their philosophy. And that was the most violent show. <laughs> well, do your homework. Yeah, right? well, yeah, because it, d- those are the psychos. Right. They have no outlet. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, well, no. What drove me nuts is this band before Power Trip. I, w- I really I thought it was a fucking joke because I'm sitting there like, what the fuck is this? I'm sorry, you bother me so much, and I know. Some people may be offended by this, but this band Sheer Mag, it's this like four hundred pound chick. They sing like punk. They sing shit. It sounds like Thin Lizzy or like New York Dolls. Every huh. song, it's it's like every song like sounds the fucking movie. same, like a wedding band, basically. Uh-huh. It's not right before a fucking intense band. What the fuck is that? And and she sounds like it's every a bad promoter is what that is. Yeah. Right? And 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 every single uh like the way she sings she sounds like every other punk band with a chicken like Plasmatics or Distillers, but what bothers me is I'm sorry in that moment, if you're not going fucking nuts on stage, what are you like offering? You know I I think you need it because I'm about balance and the yin and yang. Like dude, I'm sorry. Image, yeah, you can't be 400 pounds just slugging on stage and you sing like. I, you you know sometimes image and in adds to the intensity of the song. D- am I wrong? Like, that's that's no, what made like you're a performer. Yeah, yeah, that's what makes it a show instead of just a concert. You know, if I don't know if her weight necessarily dictates that, but 
if you're not, you know, I mean, well, well, well when you're at a w- stage show, well, well, when you're at a hardcore show where everybody's fucking backflipping off stage, and then there's just this chick, and then and like not moving at all, just sweating like fucking crazy. It's like, what what's going on here? Is this like maybe that's part of the shtick? Yeah, maybe that's the thing. Well, that that's what she said is punk as fuck because everybody hates me because I'm fat. So maybe that is punk as fuck. Maybe that's a new punk. Maybe huh? I don't know. Um, I just. I, all I can say is, the, all I can say is, there's, uh, you know, some bands the music sucks, but the performance is great, and vice versa. And there was just nothing good about the band. I don't know why they were <laughs> like, it's oh like, sh- holy shit, like, <laughs> and no, no redemption for them. Nope, no regrets. Like, it's just, I don't know. Do you think you maybe just hit her because she's fat? No, no, it's no. I I tried looking away and listening. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, I'm being, I'm I'm fucking around. No, but no, I'm being serious though. Like the 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 music wasn't. It was just. It sounded like seventies fucking rock ripoff. You know, like mm. and not to mention if that's your influence because that's what it says is the influence. I'm like, oh, I read the influence. That it kind of does sound like Thin Lizzy and New York Dolls and that seventies. But but if I don't I think it's the best when you're like I'm going to write music that best expresses what I'm feeling and just whatever the fuck comes out that's the best thing to do rather than well I'm a huge fan of Slayo so I'm going to sound like Slayo. no I mean even like w- like when I had my psych band I I still listen to a lot of crazy fucking shit all over the place but I felt like I was best at writing psych music Sure, and performing yeah. and performing it too, because and 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 that's why I'm not speaking from like some bratty fucking fan sense. Like she should move around more. She should jump into the fucking crowd and not kill somebody. But <laughs> like, like, <laughs> but 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 I mean, like, I you know when I was in the I know this from experience. Like when I was in the psych band, I was like, you know, I'm not a good guitarist, but I know how to put songs together well. So when I write the bass with the guitar and, the, and I put everything together, I'm a good songwriter. But it adds to go nuts on fucking stage, and it would bother me when it, it that looks awkward when I'm the only one going nuts and the rest of the band is like falling asleep. Yeah. Like oh yeah, uh, bi- no, me and John saw, uh, Brian Jonestown massacre, two weeks before that, I think, right? Yeah. And that was fucking amazing. And the band before them, uh, this band Stevenson Ranch Davidians. I mean, yeah, they had like uh, three awesome songs out of ten that were, the rest were kind of okay. And they had like a bassist that's just like sitting there on the amp, not moving at all, not doing anything. She looked fucking miserable. They, they, they're even like, all right, everybody give it up for our bassist. And she gave like this fake smile, kind of like, you know that look when you accidentally fart? Like, <laughs> like, like it's a, it, it it fucks up the show. I don't know. I'm saying they didn't do, they didn't do a good job at putting like okay we we listen to seventies rock we're gonna have a seventies rock band and not give a good performance at all. I I don't know. Well, you know the this is it's funny that this is actually true. The worst band that I've seen lately was a band of a similar vein took heavy influence from several other bands and that's all they tried to do. Um, mm-hmm. It just so happened that their heavy influence was from the Grateful Dead and Fish. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, too. That's the beauty of this. Is this is real? Uh, the the last show I was at a few. Uh, uh, this was like a month or two ago. There was one of the worst bands I've ever seen, and it was it was them. This like jam band, local jam band. Yeah. That tried to shove together all of the techniques of like the four most famous jam band, you know, Fish, Grateful Dead, Almond Brothers, and uh, widespread panic. No, uh, Government Mule is what I was okay. thinking of it. And the is Government Mule local? No. Okay. No. Um, I don't know where Government Mule is. Do you know? Mm-mm. No. But um. And just it was awful. It was like it was basically hit them just trying to trying to to take any technique that they've heard these guys do and push them all into one 45 minute song that everyone hated. 
It was awesome. I, I've never heard I've never heard a crowd clap louder because they were glad they were done. Not for like not you know at the end of somebody set you clap because like to thank them for their performance. Mm. We were clapping because the next person was coming on. Yeah. <laughs> so, if you had been at Wrigley Field, and if you had seen <laughs> Dead and Company, oh, yeah. it would have changed your life, man. Like so fucking good. I don't know, man. I've seen I've seen the album or. or saw the almond brothers i think seven times and i don't and i saw a rat dog play with them that's bob weir no yeah and i don't know i don't i'm not a fan of the dead never really i've been a fan of the dead i don't like the i respect uh them but i don't like it okay all right i don't like jerry garcia's playing style i don't like the scales he moves in and out of it is it? Do you think it's like uh, repetitive? No, kind of. Like I think it's too meandering, and I think like it's formless to me. Is it? Ha- is it? It goes without. It goes without shape. It doesn't have any real purpose in my like imagining of it. Mm-hmm. As I listen to it, and it's just no, it's just sound, sound you know put together by a masterful you know instrumentalist but without yeah. purpose and you know i i hate to say this or i don't mean to cut you off but but i'm going to because <laughs> i'm a pozo no but i mean i've always found it i I, th- I don't know if we talked about this before that i feel like a lot of great guitar people who are amazing at guitar end up not really writing well music like when you go to like i go to it made me feel so bad when I was a fucking kid when I'd go to like guitar center or even like a pawn shop and they'd be like, Oh yeah, you want to get this guitar? Like fucking amazing. So they're just showing me, yeah, look at this is good for this. And they're just fucking pulling off all. I'm like, Oh, I just came here. I was going to buy that to play some green day, you know? And, and, and and they're fucking doing like some crazy, you know, solo and Stevie Ray Vaughan solo. And sure. And then I realized, like, all these guys well, are such perfectionists that they won't be able to write something that is... Well, it's two different skills. Yeah. It really... Like, song... Be your, being being able... Being a player and being a songwriter are just... They're it's two like, different it's like fucking being spirit, skills. You know, feeding the spirit or just being robotic. You know, like, oh, I can... Yeah, play. sort of, yeah. Because, the, you know, pra- the... You can practice anything and be great at it, but that doesn't give you the creative edge. Like, because mm-hmm. uh, all that's muscle memory. You know, particularly with, uh, you know, with guitar and finger control and speed control, it's Mm. it's all muscle memory. You can do that with no soul. Uh, Listen to jazz guitars. (laughs) 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 But, uh... Sorry, personal (laughs) personal, uh, taste thing. It's like uh, (laughs) my my, my boss, Joe, said this kind of crack joke. He said the difference between a a jazz show and a regular show is there's a... what what the fuck was it? It's like there's um five five guys on stage and five hundred in the crowd for a regular band, but and five hundred on stage yeah. and five in the crowd for yeah. a jazz show. Yeah, <laughs> I've heard that. <laughs> I actually do, I like jazz music. I do not like jazz guitar. I think jazz yeah. guitar is soulless. I like I like more like a <laughs> jazz piano. I love jazz piano. Or I got this. Do you, have you ever heard of Les Baxter? That sounds familiar. I got it. I, I so I got it. Um, you, you ever watch that? Um, what's in the my bag thing? No. It's it's this. It's fucking awesome. It shows uh, and that's speaking of like influences. Uh, it so Amoeba Records in San Francisco, is this fucking very renowned record store. The tambourine player from Brian Jonestown works there because I stalked him down. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. Like, 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 like when I, dude, I'm not even joking. I'll fucking admit it. I got nuts about Brian Jones some asker out of nowhere because for the longest, you know, I'll just tell this story and I'll, I'll fucking confess. For the longest time, I was the angriest fucking person. Like nothing but metal, metal, metal. Want to kill everybody. Like all that shit. And then I started listening to Brian Jones some asker. I'm like, wow. This is so much of a better life <laughs> with this <laughs> than all this other fucking noise and Varg, that cocksucker. You know? <laughs> Any, anyways, I started listening, and, and I'm like, I, I really, I got to see what San Francisco is like, because all this, sh- even even if I didn't like Grateful Dead, I'm like, all this positive shit 
and vibes is coming from San Francisco. And I had to visit, and I heard that tambourine player works at the record store. So me and Adela went. I had, like, my phone in my front pocket turned on. like, hi, we really like your band. <laughs> we just sat <laughs> it up for, like, 20 minutes. And, the whole, and, like, I was high as fuck because we bought edibles at, at a dispensary there. So I'm just kind of just – I, I also bought it to to kind of chill me out and not seem like a fucking sucker. <laughs> so so and, and and so the whole time I'm talking to him, I'm like, oh, that was so cool. I bet he didn't even notice. And then I come home and I'm sober and I watch the video. And the whole time he's like eyeing the fucking camera. What the fuck is this psycho? <laughs> <laughs> and the, and you know th- he recognizes me every fucking time he comes to Chicago. Because did, did you see I'm him at the last fucking, show? I, I didn't I didn't well I didn't um Does he like does he like see you eyes go wide with terror and he like rushes no, off the no, stage? Well, well people tell me <laughs> that I have like really vibrant eyes cuz they they go from like green and brown back and forth. So I could tell him he's looking at me on say I'm not tell I'm not joking around. <laughs> <laughs> And, and and even and this sounds like some stalker shit, right? No, no. he's looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> my beautiful eyes. More like <laughs> my, my yeah, my beautiful eyes, my beautiful gems in this fucking dome. You know, no, but I mean, no, I, I I don't even no, I don't want to meet them anymore. Like before, or after because of that shit, because I feel embarrassed. I'm like, like I I'm cool. I I. I I've gotten on a cooler level with the band because like the one guitarist put this show together for me. But I'm just saying, the back to Amoeba Records and not my stock story. <laughs> Um, they have this thing on YouTube where they have random art, like all these fucking awesome artists come in and they let them pick out like 10 records for free. And then they talk about them like, why did you pick this? Why did you like, what is this part of your music, musical style? And they had King Gizzard and Lizard Wizard come in. Oh, that's nice. And they had, uh, he's like, oh, I like this Les Baxter and he's like an African jazz. Uh, it dude, you know what it reminds me of? Like really improvised African piano jazz. Ki- and it kind of reminds me of do you know the n- the background music in like the 1960s batman yeah i do like that actually kinda, like, adam west yeah yeah like that kind like that chill uh, jazz bar sh- shit like huh. that's what it reminds me i don't know it's really fucking that's all i listen to at work it's like relaxing as hell but afro it, but, jazz i can imagine yeah but 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 it's really it's a really cool thing to sh- to watch in general Cause, cause like they have, they have really like they had the guy from Pentagram on there, the singer. Yeah, I saw that. Th- they had a power trip on there, and it's really funny because like the one guitarist actually likes a lot of shit that I like, Failure and Ken Andrews, and like space rock, and then the other guitarist because they're from Texas, he like likes nothing but Pantera, old ass country. No, no, ZZ Top. He loves ZZ Top. Yeah, they fucking love Z. <laughs> and then, and then the rest is just all. Old school, like you haven't ever heard of them. Hank just Williams, country. Well, I yeah. guess I would, you probably heard of Hank Williams. But <laughs> what is um? What's what the hell is Hank Williams the third? Isn't he something? Isn't there's he like Hank punk? Williams Jr. I don't know Hank Williams the third. Yeah, there, there's. I think I it's like Hank a, Williams Jr. <laughs> I think it's like a raunchy punk band, and they, they're called Hank Williams the third. <laughs> huh. I think because I've seen that, I always just assumed it was like. Hank Williams' grandkids. Yeah, that's what I that's what I would have assumed, but I've never heard of them, so I don't know. I don't. I'm not big into the. I'll listen to country, but I'm not big into that like style of no. mm. that country. The Grand Ole Opry. Yeah, not really my uh, my thing. More bluegrass than uh, than yeah. old school country. You hate the Grateful I, I, Dead. You hate Hank Williams. You hate jazz. I didn't say I hated Hank Williams or jazz. I don't like jazz guitar, <laughs> and I don't like the Grateful Dead. We're picky about our hating, Bill. No, I understand. <laughs> I when you feel so so much rage over things, you get real specific with what they're about. Yeah, and you, and that brings me that I thought was real funny. Um, I feel like uh, we were when we were at Slayer. <laughs> I was standing next to Bill, and I felt like. Um, as soon as you got super fucked up on the margaritas, you, like, like like we were enjoying the whole show, and we're like, yeah, this next one. And then like as soon as you look, like had the margarita, you're like, dude, isn't every fucking song just a remix of Rain and Blood? <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like it. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and I totally get where you're coming. Like I do <laughs> like Slayer, but I can tell you this much. If somebody was like, dude, I got some Slayer. What album do you want me to put on? Any of them. It's all the fucking same, really. 
but but it, it really is it's they got a but you know what i also do like that they stuck with that formula because if if they played the album they recorded last year compared to their first album you wouldn't know which one was which like when they re- like, sure because they stick to that style they never fucking like sold out you know well and for me it wasn't really like a technique thing or like a song style thing it was just like that one fucking riff yeah. Like just to play with the da 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 da. Yeah, every and, and and I I do agree with that. Every solo is definitely the same. Like every fucking solo is the same. I, I this is my opinion. I think every single time he starts singing fast, it ends with shun like T I O N mm. or E like Y like like insanity society sobriety like sure and then aggression erection like. Just every single fucking song is like, but I don't know. That's that's their formula. So I and I and I like to mix it up a bit by hitting the next track and then sure. playing it backwards. Right. Oh no, <laughs> that's the next song. And uh, yeah, <laughs> now it's in a major scale. It's going so. up. Ugh. So yeah. I'll concede, going back to Grateful Dead, that a lot of their songs, I'm sure, are guilty of the same critique. Like, oh, this riff. Guilty of a lot again. more than that. But. All right, <laughs> fella. Um, but anyway, not taking away anything from Slayer, but as someone who doesn't really know them that well, it's like, oh, I think all these songs are like at least the same scale, just like modified with like, oh, here's Hmm. a half rest in between, or maybe it was just the songs that they chose. Maybe that's their popular songs. Maybe people just really love that one riff. Slayer figured it out. They're like, (laughs) well, let's just fucking like, let's just play this. Yeah, that's all they play now. Yeah. (laughs) Let's, let's just blend instead of blending all the jam bands together. Let's blend all the thrash bands together and have one long forty-five minute thrash song. Let me tell you, blood. Let me tell you, worst forty-five minutes of my life. <laughs> don't, I hope no one ever does that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was it was so fun though to watch people try and enjoy, like because for the first fifteen minutes, people are like. Yeah, come on, like they're local. <laughs> like, oh, is this we're the gonna, jam band that you didn't? Yeah, okay. we're gonna try and enjoy this. Like, we're really gonna, we're really gonna reach out and try and understand why you're playing this music that we hate so much. <laughs> well, <laughs> and then by by about minute twenty twenty five, everyone just didn't give a shit anymore. They're just like, get the fuck off the stage. Just people stop dancing. We're milling about, getting drinks, yeah, right, like in and on out. Their yeah, like <laughs> taking I w- naps. I wonder, I wonder if jam bands. If it's easier for them because they have like that emergency button, like, dude, if anybody gets off key, just give more acid to the crowd. Right, we'll get yeah. into it. That was that was the best experience oh. ever. Um, I think they took all the acid themselves. <laughs> I think that's part of what their problem was. I will yeah. say, props to their drummer and bassist because their drummer and bassist were trying were trying so hard to keep it. Up to keep it reined in, to be the backbone of the song. We're incredibly consistent. And then it's these two fucking clowns up front, one of them playing a synthesizer with some of the weirdest, I'm so high right now, I don't even realize that these sounds are awful. Was like, that on a guitar strap, like a guitar? No, he had like a whole station set up t- for himself. <laughs> and, uh, and he was using a laptop and like two different types of synthesizers in a box. And then there was a, there was a guitarist. Yeah. With dreadlocks past his feet. White dude, by the way. Dreadlocks past his feet. Yeah. What was the name of the band? I don't even know. Uh, <laughs> I didn't don't yeah, I know. didn't care we don't enough know. to I'm just and were they opening for someone? They're yeah, they were there were um it was for Bump and Uglies. And they there were two local openers. I can't remember the name of the first band. The first band was actually really good local. Um they were like punk reggae sort of mm-hmm. deal like a rancid sort of ish a little bit um, like friendlier okay but uh they were they were cool uh i had a minute of exposure in the crowd to their front man who i did not like so i wouldn't go see them again just because he was kind of a dick but <laughs> i'm sanji i hate everyone <laughs> whatever, he was fucking rude but <laughs> whatever <laughs> um then it was this band and then there was another band called um something to do i think is what they were called okay. a milwaukee uh ska band which were stole the fucking show we're amazing nice. we're think, absolutely yeah you mentioned this yeah I, well, I think i talked about this last time they were awesome and then it was bumping on 
I think I think this is the second time I've gone on a rant about how much I hated that band. <laughs> They're almost as bad as Shiny Toy Guns was. Hmm. The band I accidentally saw last night was fucking horrible. <laughs> I forgot I forgot what the, yeah. So so yeah, I was supposed to see a um this band called The Life and the Times about 2 months ago and they're really awesome just very wall of sound space rock. They remind me of Failure, Ken Andrews, Auto Lux, just that type of shit. And they're from like Ohio and I always miss them when they come to town. So I was going to I got tickets like fucking January to see them a month ago or something and the guitarist broke his leg. So apparently yeah, you you can't play, play guitar with a broken leg. He uses a lot of pedals. Yeah. Yeah. I think he does the Elvis like little <laughs> shift, you know, with his legs. Mm. The you know that Forrest Gump taught him. Yep. Anyway, <laughs> no, but um <laughs> yeah, they f- they they're like the whole process just pissed me the fuck off cuz the band oh, but you can still see the uh Opening bands or refund your tickets. So, of course, I, I, I feel so bad for those opening bands. I wonder who the fuck was even at that venue that night for everybody refunded their tickets. I'm sure they, yeah, they, say, I'm sure they got <laughs> fucked. And then, and then, so I got pumped because I didn't know if I was having the birthday, my birthday party yesterday or, or in the podcast today or vice versa. So I went last night thinking it's going to be Life in the Times at this sleeping village. And... I'm waiting. I'm like, who the fuck is this? It was one guy. Uh, he looked like Snoop Dogg, but with really, really long ass dreads in a basketball jersey on like a beatbox thing. And then it was his friend playing drums, which I th- which was cool. But the thing, because because at first it kind of sounded to me like uh, New Jabez, the guy who uh, does the soundtrack for Samurai Champloo. Like, okay, yeah. It sounded kind of like like just really chill beat, but it was. Comp- they were off with each other so much and then the drummer would try and catch up and then he'd fuck up and then he's oh we're, we're switching song you know and i'm like that sounds awful fuck, <laughs> when the fuck is life in the times coming on uh tomorrow sir why the fuck am i here uh, <laughs> oh that's gotta be so disappointing yeah <laughs> did you pick up some merch anyway no way Turn no way no 60 dollar booty shorts <laughs> no <laughs> I left some shit merch stamp you know, on the wall. You think. know what I really hope has sixty dollars booty shorts is EJ Pierogi's. Oh my god! Auto right. Clinic. Oh. Did you see any reviews of the gift shop? Oh, I didn't. I should look at. I should see if they have an online Man, store. If they sold shirts, I would love to get. one. Actually, if they do sell shirts, I I really hope that it has and Auto Clinic on it. <laughs> <laughs> like mechanics jackets, EJ Pierogi's, and Auto Body. No, it would be it would be the uh, what is it? Onesie's not the right. cover all. Oh yeah, <laughs> cover all. <laughs> sure, my mechanics onesie. All right, EJ. Not the chompers or whatever, or rompers. Oh <laughs> the chompers. yeah, yeah, oh, the rompums. No. Don't make me bust you on the chompers. <laughs> 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 if you don't eat that El Pierogi burrito, you'll <laughs> bust you in the chompers. <laughs> so, I was gonna bring this up earlier, but uh, Grateful Dead is playing Alpine Valley. Who's down? <laughs> I'm not, I would go, but those opposes. Sure. <laughs> okay. Right. Also, I'm going to be in Atlanta. I'm not actually going. Good I wish I could. Oh, my God, dude. Wait. wait. What, how much is the ticket? I don't know. I haven't left because I think I'm, I'm going to be out of town. So it's like. I, I would not. I wouldn't even go to that show if it was like they said Slayer Farewell Tour. Mm-hmm. If it wasn't Farewell Tour, I probably wouldn't have gone. Man, but yeah. those guys are getting so old in the dead. Like In the dead? In the dead. Yeah. Yeah. Like Grateful Dead? Yeah. Like soon, Grateful Soon? Yeah. D- yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, yeah, so like every show kind of feels like a farewell show because you never know. Yeah, especially when I'm in the crowd with my s- darting eyes. Yeah, you're those <laughs> gems of yours <laughs> just winking at everyone, <laughs> distracted. That's why the band kept fucking up yesterday. They kept getting distracted like, oh, those are beautiful eyes. Oh. Where the fuck is the life in the times? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I I can't find. There. First off, there's a lot more pierogi themed T-shirts than I ever than I ever thought would exist. Any clever ones? Um, not really. <laughs> I saw Obi Wan pierogi, which I thought was kind of funny, but it doesn't even work that well. <laughs> I just think it's. I funny. was thinking of naming the cat Pierre and then last name Ogie. Well, that's first, pretty clever. But I don't know. I just named pierogi because he's gassy and has a fat belly. Or like, so we're very similar. I don't understand why there's a lot of Polish Lives Matter shirts. (laughs) (laughs) 
join the movement, man. Pierogi demolition crew. Pierogi demolition. Is that like oh, these are the, awful? These are so is bad. It, is that like the name of the bathroom? Pierogi demolition. <laughs> My pierogies bring all the poles to the yard. Oh God! Of course. I hate the world. Oh pierogi tree! Oh pierogi tree! And it's a Christmas tree made out of pierogies. Do they have the hard stop? Yeah. Do, do they have the hard pierogies? Will set you free. I was hoping First for like they're gonna piss you. I was hoping for like a pierogi bear. That, but no. No, but their mascot would be great for a T-shirt, right? Like just a picnic basket like full it. of pierogi. No, it's it's like a pierogi with weirdly sized orange hands and shoes. What EJ's? Is? Yeah. Maybe That's those orange hands are orange mechanic gloves. <laughs> right? <laughs> they do kind of look like mechanic gloves now that I'm looking no. at it again. <laughs> Maybe in the future they're they're you know going to merge and do some back to the future where the atoms of a pierogi will power the car. And that's some next level shit. Yeah. Right. You thought weed butter was Dude, scientific. We were talking <laughs> about <laughs> We were talking about Tesla earlier. Did did you hear about like those um uh you ever see those like impossible to go flat tires where it l- just looks like a spider web? Have you ever s- seen those? Oh, videos? the metal ones? No, they're not metal. They're, not they're they're rubber, but it's like a it looks it looks like a stretched sponge. Hmm. So it's so it's rubber, but there's air spaces in between. So picture like uh, I'm trying. What could you what you could you compare? Oh, it's like a I think it's like a hun- honeycomb where it's literally oh, a tire, okay. but it's a honeycomb. And there's no, you, you know, so if you run over, you can run over anything and it, and it's as light as a tire. And the fucking thing that's great is if those things wear out, they said in like futuristic cars, because it's made out of like that honeycomb rubber for the spare, they have a machine that 3D prints your spare every time. Oh, that'd be Ooh. Cool. Then do they have like, can they 3D print someone to change it for you? I hope so. Because <laughs> it's like still I, a pain dude, in the ass. Well, you know, you're in luck. I got a guy for you over at oh, uh, yeah. UJ Pierogi yeah. Auto Clinic. Hey, Mr. Pierogi. <laughs> I was going to say, I hope they 3D print like a pierogi for you to wait while that 3D printed guy changes it. Right. And how do those do in the snow, I wonder? Pierogies? Uh, pierogies they, are great yeah. all the time. Like the honeycomb They tires? thaw the snow away from the gas of the pierogi. Ooh, okay. Perfect. <laughs> like black ice, honeycomb wi- wheels, you know. Oh yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. All right. I wonder what happens when they freeze. Ooh. Do they just shatter? Yeah. What if, what if you could like fuck with somebody by filling them up with something? Because yeah, there's a lot of space in there. Yeah. yeah. You could smuggle shit in your tires. Perfect. Not that I'm excited about smuggling anything. Right, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what that would be perfect for, but you well, might you might have the cop tell you this would be a better place to hide it. Like <laughs> oh <that> God. <laughs> Fuck that guy. He smoked my weed and I know it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just happy to say that I'm still carrying the torch. You're not smoking, but I'm smoking for two. You you know, you you make us all proud here, <laughs> like a pregnant woman smoking for two. Have you ever have you have you ever tried quitting? Uh, me no. Did you never wanted to? Nah. Um, like October of 2015, I got my wisdom teeth out. Yeah. So I think I went seven or eight days without a cigarette. And in hindsight, I probably should have just like stopped. But then I was like, oh, nice, my mouth isn't like in excruciating pain anymore. I'm gonna have a cigarette. And I did. I Were the like seven or eight days that. hard for you? Uh, as far as like no, I shitting was, and anxiety? No, I was so fucked up. Like, they didn't give me any meds, but I got some Vicodin off of an old coworker. And I would like... <laughs> <laughs> safe. Um, and like on my lunch break, I would just like have a beer. So oh just, my God. It was just like that whole week was just kind of like a little blur. Like, you know, uh, 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 yeah, employee of the year material over here. That's what eight hours of Frasier and food poisoning sounds like. Complete fucking blur. Yeah, right. I accidentally locked the cat in a cabinet where we keep the rice because I was so out of it. I was, like, I was like, where's that meowing coming from? It's just chilling on the rice. I'm like, no, you're not shitting on a rice. That's the only way I found out. 
Was it the 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 kitten or the? Yeah, it was the kitten. Oh, the 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 older one doesn't even meow. It kind of just it sounds like Lil Pump when he does the Uzi sound. And the sound cl- that, that's how it meows. <laughs> it's like it chirps, kind of. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, they are. Um, Lucy, the black cat, is fucking miserable. I think that pierogi <laughs> is around now. <laughs> she. I'm not even kidding. Like she used to have like these huge, almost like dilated eyes that that are just like very curious and exploring and shit. And now they kind of just like drooped to like this <laughs> jealous stare just all the time. Glazed over. <laughs> Just kind of just defeated. Kinda, yeah, it, I don't even know who to what to compare it to. Like the fucking Ursula in Little Mermaid. <laughs> oh you know, God, the, those Jesus. eyes. You know. Yeah, it it's pretty so fucking with, uh, pain and anguish. And the, and the best part is I, that makes me more connected <laughs> to Pierogi is it completely fucks with Lucy's jealousy. Just constantly scratches at its face and. Oh. Yeah. I think they'll get along eventually. Yeah. We're not getting another cat, though. It's just no. too much pussy in the house. Too much. How is that a bad thing? Oh! Is that a Pauly Shore? <laughs> oh, yeah. Tender. I'll stop. No more impressions. I'm sorry, everyone. All's well best. <laughs> well, well Fuck best. you. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm funny, damn it. And the Grateful Dead are good. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's all sing my favorite Grateful Dead song. One, and two. On. Good night. All right. <laughs> is this a good time to sign off? Why sure. Not? All right. So once again, to all of our loyal listeners out there in Internet Land, wherever you may be, thank you again for tuning into another exciting episode of Hear Nothing. See nothing. Perfect. Perfect. Good night. I oh. think we should zoom in on the brain guts. Oh, God. <laughs> That's what we have an HD camera for. Yeah. Special thanks to our sponsor, Brown's, Brown's Chicken and Pasta. Chicken. <laughs> yeah. mm. Because sometimes you hate your body. <laughs> Where, <laughs>